Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is AJ or Sleepy Fibers. And today I want to talk about some inspo I have for the upcoming season. Uh, I crochet and I knit. Today I actually, if I can talk and work at the same time, we'll be working on this flower pocket that I have for a cardigan right next to me. If you want to see me work on this cardigan, I'm going to be putting out a video soon, uh, like a vlog of me working on it and some other stuff. Just a hangout time, that's what I usually like to do in my vlogs. Today's video, I have some things I want to make. Like every single other person that knits or crochets, they've also put out videos like this. My video will most likely be no different. I haven't really watched other people's videos yet because I didn't want to take their ideas or things that they said or did. So even even though technically it's like the same list, whatever. I have a list of things I wanna make. Not everything uh, obviously I'm gonna get to this season, but it'd be fun to have a variety of things that if I don't wanna do one thing, I definitely can go to something else. First up, uh, bag charms. I've been getting back into wearing tote bags and I have a little purse I carry with me when I just need to go out for a short outing and I really like having charms in my bag. I wasn't really one to have them before but a co-worker of mine made one for me and it was super super cute and then I got this mushroom that's supposed to be a hand sanitizer holder for ba from Bath and Body Works. No hand sanitizer in there, but the mushroom is always on my bag. So <laughs> I definitely wanna try and make some crochet um, charms. There's also, there's also this little frog pattern I keep seeing pop up on my recommendation, on my, my recommendation, why did I say the whole word? On <laughs> my recommended, or YouTube and it's like a little bag charm. I think there's clasps on their hands so they can hang on to your strap, which I think is very cute. I don't have clasps, but I do have green yarn. So maybe at some point I can make that. I've seen some butterfly ones. I really like the mushroom ones. They look super cute. And depending on how long you make the stem, you could really hold a lot of stuff in there or how wide, you know, a lot of stuff. You could, at that point it'd be a pouch though, wouldn't it? Probably. Yeah, no. Definitely, I want to make some bag charms. Next up is scarves. Now, I've made... No, I haven't. I, I've i tried. I've tried knitting like years and years and years ago when I was still a teenager. Didn't work. My tension was too tight. Um, I, used, I picked up a fluffy yarn. Uh, <laughs> I made so many mistakes that looking back i wish i stuck with it and i tried again at least with crochet a scarf it isn't really that hard but you have the basics down so i want to make a lot of scarves this year um specifically like maybe some granny square scarves i think would be really cute maybe a scarf with like this flower motif with like scrap yarn i think would be really pretty uh something of course knit chunky yarn i have uh, a good amount of chunky yarn could definitely use or I can double triple uh, the yarn another thing that's kind of like scarves are shawls I really want to get into this year uh, I never saw myself as someone to wear shawls but it's getting cold or at least breezy right now and it's like it's not breezy enough to have a full-on jacket but it's breezy enough to make me want to cover up my arms you know so I think I want to start making some uh, fall shawls, <laughs> some lacy ones would be really pretty. Uh, I actually have a Michael's or Joann's pattern that I also received from a coworker. Yes, it is the same coworker. <laughs> I'm maybe like halfway through. I don't know why I don't want to finish it. <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it. Honestly, I feel like I want to get, I really want to get one of those big hooks uh, and make a really loose, really big uh, shawl like that with the yarn that I'm using. I think that'd be really nice. I really like the whole loose look of stitches depending on the garment. So I think that'd be really fun. 
to have. Next up is socks. I've made socks before. Uh, I haven't crocheted any. I feel like, again, I haven't made crochet socks, but I feel like they'd be kind of bulky because of how tight crochet stitches are. But I've knitted socks before. I knitted socks last year for a couple Christmas gifts. I wouldn't stop making socks. <laughs> I kind of want to uh, make more socks now that it's starting to get colder and stuff like that. So definitely have some socks. I actually have started collecting some sock knit patterns. They're like graphic socks. I haven't grafted anything yet. Like I want to try it, like a, like a graphic tote bag. I haven't done that yet but I want to and same with the socks you know I'm gonna try and do that maybe next up is boleros or just sleeves slash shoulders um I saw a really cute I have a couple I've made a couple I want to make some more different colors of course more autumny colors I um saw this one specific not stitch, uh, style of Valerio. It's just like, they you can tell they just like did ribbing and then they knit upwards and then made the neckline, same with the back, and then made sleeves. And it's like a really, really short version of a sweater instead of doing what I did was, which was more like a raglan fit, which was fine. I really like the raglan version, uh, just sleeves I made. I wear it whenever I can. It's such a pretty piece, but um, yeah, I really want to try like a top-down version of the Just Sleeves. I don't know why I haven't yet, but definitely want to try that next and just like make more for more layering opportunities and outfits. Next up is, we're getting into the more complicated things, but uh, skirts. I really want to make some skirts. There is a, like a checkered square skirt that uh, I've seen a couple people make. I have attempted to make it before in yellow and orange, but I never finished it for some reason. I can't remember why, don't ask. Uh, I wanna try again, maybe with some dimmer colors, maybe some more muted colors. Maybe like a tri-color skirt would be really pretty, something like that in like browns or at least for crochet. And then for knitted ones, uh, I actually have a book somewhere that's like a knit this, like it, it takes you along to make um, knitted skirts. And they, I don't think that book has my size, but I could definitely use inspo from the book. It's a pretty old book. I got it from a store in Cape May, I think. It was like a, a yarn store and they had like a little clearance section on books and I think I picked it up there maybe. I'm, if my memory is serving me correctly though, I don't really remember. I know I have that book though. Skirts, definitely something I wanna try and make maybe if not this season, next season. I'm not picky. Next up, cardigans. I have a couple cardigans, obviously. I wanna make more. Specifically, I wanna make knitted cardigans. Knitted cardigans look so, elegant and soft and cozy specifically knitted cardigans by um how do you say your name kotova kika i think i've been binging her videos like no one's business <laughs> these past few days something about her knitwear and just like who she is as a person i don't know it's just really comforting and very inspiring to watch and see so i really want to uh make one of her designs hopefully and get some really good pieces from like her collection of patterns because she has so many patterns she even has a book that is on my wish list at some point i will be getting her book there's so many different uh fiber books i want to get there's that one there's a book that again ikoshun uh has brought my attention to called Co Contemporary Crochet. And then I just wanna like collect books. Next up, sweaters. Now I don't have any sweaters. <laughs> I've been crocheting for almost three years. 
or maybe over three years and I've been knitting for almost a year now and <laughs> I don't have any sweaters I don't know why don't ask I don't know why I really want to make one though I really want to make a sweater uh, I want to make it with this yarn specifically like I said I made it for a cardigan before a knitted cardigan and it was so nice so I want to try and make one with this yarn this year not just like a comfy sweater I also like layering well I think of them as layering sweaters sweaters that are like really thin that you probably use more so in like uh well right now because it is a transitional period it's not quite fall yet but it's certainly getting a little colder in the mornings and at night so i want to make some transitional pieces for the season for things that i personally want to make uh i want to make at least three major things this season now will i make all three <laughs> i don't know but it definitely be cool to try at the very least, I want to try and get two things. If I can make it to three, awesome, fantastic, amazing, you know? First thing, obviously, I think sweater. I need to make a sweater this season. Uh, I have no idea what kind of sweater I want to make. I think I want to make one from, uh, I, I think I want to make one from a pattern by your favorite knitwear. They have so many <laughs> amazing sweater designs, but also like I said, Puto Vakika also has a lot of great sweater designs, or maybe I should just do like a really basic plain Jane sweater for my first one, uh, but that doesn't sound like any fun, <laughs> does it? So I don't know, I don't know what I'll do yet, but definitely, definitely, definitely sweater, number one. Number two, I think I want to make a skirt. Uh, like I said, the square, like those square crochet skirts I probably want to make. I definitely think I could get it done in a reasonable amount of time if I focus and work on it. So that's definitely, I think, one of the ones on my list for this year is a skirt. I, th I'll, I think it's going to probably be a cardigan. If it's not a cardigan, then I think this year I might want to try and make a little throw. Now, I have one, two, like three, or f I have four blankets out here in my living room right now. I'm trying to make it five, honestly. It'll definitely be something I want to make on big hooks. Like, I want to get, um, like a, a chonker of a hook and make the blanket that way so it's more of like a throw and it's not something i'm working on until the end of my time <laughs> because uh, something about making blankets i just haven't it's not really for me i'm more so of an apparel girly i've talked long enough those are everything i want to make this year if you're curious i did not finish my flower <laughs> I still have this little bit to go, but here's what it looks like finished, if you were curious, cause I already had this, the first one done. So this is what it's gonna look like when she is all done. That is the plan for my fall 2023. I think I'm gonna document the three big projects. They are probably subject to change though. I will say that. I don't know if I will make the skirt. I don't know if I will make the blanket. I 100% will make the sweater. The sweater is something that has to get done this year, this season. So it's probably the next thing I'm gonna work on after I finish this cardigan. Kick off the proper fall season. I hope you had fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, listening to me talk about what I plan on doing for this year. Uh, let me know if you also make stuff. If you feel like telling me, what are you making this year? What are your plans? Uh, do you also knit and crochet or just do you do one or the other? Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.